Good morning. We're jumping right into this baby. What's up, baby? Hear that bird? It's so beautiful. We're gonna jump right into this. Hi. Welcome to my channel. I'll sit up straighter. Oh my god, it's early. I just woke up. What's up really good. Like I said, if I'm being drained, my battery's being drained to help others and drain it, baby. And I'll recharge, right? Just kind of what I'm doing. I was gonna do, do some stuff today, but I I felt so good this morning waking up to hear nothing but the ocean. Some of the other spots that I stay, there's always cars, there's movement. Like Nye Beach is just a parking lot in the middle of the city, so you're gonna have constant people walking around and stuff. So this is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Emperors and empresses, that's what you are. And that realization for me was long time coming. And the funny thing was I was on this coast before the, on the 4th of July. And I had that moment where I was having one of these, like, it was in between sleep and wake. And I was like, yeah, it was that, like, it was that, that what do they call it, the, the magic hour. Or what, I don't know what the hell it was. It was just where I was, like, fading in and out. And I could... And I sensed that it was almost like this is this is it. This is what you've been searching for, right? Like, what the fuck is that? And then phew, it's gone. And then yesterday, I'm just sitting there thinking. In that same, I started thinking about my childhood and all the element situations I was put in, and, and why I was put in them, <clears throat> and why I wasn't groomed to be a conqueror. That's the one thing I kept thinking to myself. Why was everybody wanting me to be so fucking meek, so timid? I didn't, I didn't get that. It was like every time I started showing my power, it would be like somebody said, "Slow down, stop." It's like you're about to race, and you're you're going to you're going to beat somebody, and this is a hundred mile an hour race, right? And you can't go over forty out miles an hour. You're like, "Oh, slow down, slow down." So, like, but I can't win the fucking race if I don't go hundred miles an hour, right? That's what it felt like, and that's what my life has been like. And this is what our society, this is what our civilization, civilization has been like. And this is a microcosm of what we are as a humanity. But that was a, that realization just blew my mind yesterday. I was just, oh my god, that's what it is. I was being trained to be meek, and I, I did, and I fought it every fucking step of the way because I knew something. It, I knew I was special. <clears throat> I, I'm not saying that everybody isn't special, but I just knew deep down that what they were feeding me was bullshit. What they were feeding me was wrong. It went against my gut instincts. They talk about instincts, intuition. My intuition was telling me I was a fucking emperor and I deserved to be respected and treated like an emperor and I trained like an emperor, have, you know, go to schools and be taught that quality the best of everything and everybody should not just me I'm talking everybody that brings me to my point the world needs to change people period and we need to do it I'm still here and I have some ideas there was this thing back in the 80s where they start having well they it's been going on for a while but what they would do is they would have um, transfer students go to other countries and live with them and why they would go to school in that country whatever go to college <clears throat> and it was like cultural transfers so you would have people from different countries going to other places and they would learn the culture they would bring some back home and in a weird way it was almost like a herd immunity when you think about it because you you know that's just because like I said when they even had examples of when, you know, the conquistadors came over and they were, just, you know, their, all of their diseases and shit we had in Europe and then we brought them over here to the natives and it just wiped them out because they weren't getting that interaction on a constant basis. So they, were, they weren't immune to the things that other people had. So we need to all get immune to the shit so we can all hang out together and we can travel around freely throughout the world. This, like I said, there's a difference between a symbiotic relationship with all of us and then there's control this is I'm not talking about control I'm talking about freedom my freedom as a human being to travel anywhere on this earth I want without having to justify why I'm there see what I'm saying this is what I'm talking about this is what I'm talking about when I talk about power 
this spot that I'm sitting on is an amazing microcosmic example of what I'm talking about. There's signs saying you can't be here. There's signs saying I could be I could be arrested for trespassing or cited or bulbs or blah blah blah. Fear, control. Why can't I be here? If I'm a responsible, beautiful, wonderful human being, why can't I stand anywhere on this planet that I want without having to explain it, without having to pay for it? Nope. It used to be like that. You used to not have fees for every goddamn thing. You didn't have to go to the park to pay a fee. They go, oh well, well there's the, we're talking about maintenance bullshit. That's what the politicians are taking all that money and putting in their bank accounts. That should have been paid for maintenance. Politicians, oh by the way, you're gonna start working pro bono. We're gonna have nonprofit politicians. So every politician that goes into politics is not gonna make a penny. And anybody that does is automatically gonna be audited. And as a matter of fact, they should audit every politician that exists at this moment. Every fucking one of them. And explain every penny that's in your personal bank account. You're gonna to have to explain how that got there. This is what I'm talking about. We're talking about a new world. Without borders, without mental control, without subservience. Toilets need to be scrubbed. I agree, but you can scrub. We can all pitch in. I'm not talking about communism. I'm not talking about socialism. I'm talking about personal responsibility for your space and your world. That's the emperor and empress energy. Man, we were, like I said, that witch doctor that talked about us being being emperors, we were, we ruled, we were royalty in the universe. And now what are we doing? Fighting over scraps? I mean, Ukraine is an amazing example of how fucked up the control mechanism is in humans. It brings out the evil and the low and the toxic and the low vibration instead of bringing the best quality of human beings. Imagine being able to go into any village, in any town, me, going into any town in the, in the world, and that town know who I am. Not only know who I am, but know my worth, and say, look, we want you to stay here. You, we're just welcomed like a family member. You have a place to stay. You're going to have food, clothing, whatever the fuck you want, but you're going to contribute. I'm not going to sit there like a lump on the log and just sit there and not be a part of that community. I'm going to do it. I'm like, whatever skills I have, use them. I will teach. I will cook. I will. I can build. I did construction. I can do whatever I want. That's what everybody should do. It's like a Peace Corps you, global. Well, I hate using that word. It's, they tainted that shit. Um, let's think of another word. Unilateral. No, that's a fucked up word, too. <sighs> symbiotic. We're going to have to have a symbiotic environment. No, they fucked up that word, too. Huh? Symbiotic existence between all of us. Yeah, we're gonna work on it. I'm gonna, I got some ideas. This is all important to put this down. That's why I'm throwing it out. That's why we're just jumping on it. Because this is changing the world, people. This is making things right. No more bombs, no more bullets. I mean, we have mental issues. We have people with mental health issues. We have people that are being trained at birth to be toxic, to be killers at birth. That, that movie Soldier, I've talked about that before with Kurt Russell, where they train these little boys to actually just be killers. Just be just be numb to to um, emotions. Watch the movie. It's a really... Love you! It's a beautiful bird. It's a really cool movie because Kurt, I love Kurt Russell, but anyway, the, the movie is really a, it's a really great movie because it talks about humanity. It talks about empathy and compassion for everybody. And your, his job as a soldier is to protect the people that he was going out and terrorizing. And he realized that. Anyway, we're going to make this a better world, baby. We are emperors and empresses. Let's start acting like it, shall we? Have a wonderful day. God loves you, and the universe is digging in your new status as emperors and empresses. Rock on, baby. There's that bird over there. What are you doing? You going to sing? There you go. He's so beautiful. Yeah. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.